Cooptonian here and welcome back to the channel. This quick video will show how to customize branding of Authentic. First, check the Docker Compose file and be sure to have Authentic Server's media directory mounted to a local path because this is where custom icons and logos will go. There are several different ways to get custom content into the path mounted in Authentic. I won't go over every single method. However, if running Authentic on a headless server, SSH into the host terminal and change the directory to the path mounted in Authentic. Optionally, subdirectories can be created. You really don't need to copy a background file to Authentic since you can use the graphical user interface within your main authentication flow to choose one you already have on your system. With that said, in the following methods, I use a background as an example, but this is what you would do with a vector file such as SVG or favicon PNG file. Next, depending on the directory's permissions, type wget or sudo space wget space dash o space and enter preferred file name space then open a web browser and navigate to a vector file or image right click it and click copy image address click back inside the terminal window and right click to paste the address and hit enter or if running docker locally on a linux box Open a web browser and navigate to a vector file or image, right click it, click save image as, rename it to something preferred, and click save. Then just click drag and drop to move it to the path mounted in Authentic, or if you already have existing custom content you created, copy or move it into this directory. However, in my case, I run the Authentic host headless, but my main machine is Windows, and I already have custom content I want to use in Authentic. So, I will instead use WinSCP to connect to the Authentic host. Then, navigate to the path mounted in Authentic, and use WinSCP's File Explorer-like interface to drag and copy my content over. Anyways, after using any of the previous methods to get your content into Authentic, it's time to customize. Log into your Authentic instance as an admin, per usual. Click Admin Interface. Expand Flows and Stages. Click Flows. Click the Edit icon for your main authentication flow. Change the name and title to your preference, such as Welcome User. However, my preference will be Welcome Kuptonian. Next, go down to Layout and choose your preference of Stacked, Content Left, Content Right, Sidebar Left, or Sidebar Right. I'll keep mine stacked. For Background, click Choose File and select the background from your system. And click Open. And click Update. If your flow doesn't update and the Update button goes red, you probably have permission issues. See Authentic's documentation to fix this. Next, expand system. Click Tenants, and click the Edit icon for your tenant. Change the title to your preference. For logo, type out the full path and name of the file you have mounted to Authentic. And do the same for favicon. And click Update. 
Now let's log out and check out the changes. As you can see, the brand logo and background image have changed, as well as the favicon in the browser tab. And if we log back in, the header and sidebar logos have also been updated. Please click the like button if you liked this video or found it helpful, and subscribe for any other future videos I upload. Again, thanks for watching. Here's a bonus for you. If you hate the momentary appearance of the default background when logging out of Authentic, instead of choosing a background image within your authentication flow, mount your preferred background directly in place of the default one in your Docker Compose file. Then, Authentic has no choice but to load yours.